From studios at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, this is Fourth and State. State Representative Paul Farrow and Waukesha County Executive Dan Baracus have a proposal for higher education in Waukesha County. Here to discuss that on Fourth and State is Paul Farrow. Hi, I'm Ernie Franz, and I'm the Associate Editorial Page Editor at the Journal Sentinel. Uh, our agenda item this year focuses on jobs and how we can grow jobs in Wisconsin. One of the key elements of that, of course, is education. And here to talk to us about an interesting proposal from Waukesha County is Paul Farrow, Rep State Representative Paul Farrow. He and Dan Brockus are looking at ways to foster greater cooperation and perhaps consolidation between two two-year schools, University of Wisconsin uh, Waukesha and Waukesha County Technical College. So Paul, what, uh, if you could explain your proposal a little bit and uh, what's going on with that. Sure, and yeah, I appreciate the time. Uh, uh, County Exec Rackus and I got together a couple of months ago and we're talking about education in Waukesha County. And in our discussions, Dan was, was a former state representative. He had been through when UWM and, and UW-Waukesha had talked about merging to offer some more four-year programs and things like that out in the Waukesha area. I think this time around, we really started looking at three areas when it came to higher education. Uh, accountability, accessibility, and flexibility. And, you know, we started talking about it and the accessibility part really came down to giving students of all ages the opportunity to excel and get a degree where they can. And I think that's one of the things that we're seeing in this economy is many people are coming back to school uh, either to finish up their credits for a two-year degree sure. or four-year degree holders are coming back to get a two-year degree. And so we're looking at how can we make it more accessible. As you know, in most situations, technical colleges don't offer the 200 level coursework that is a transferable course to the four year degrees at most UW colleges. And when we talk about 200 level courses, what are we talking They're about? They're that, that kind of the, as I put them, the sophomore level courses. Um, general education requirements, more of the liberal arts <coughs> type material that's out there. And so the technical colleges, a couple of them that offer that when they don't have a two year system in their area. But what we're looking at is we should make it more accessible across the board. We should give individuals who are looking at the liberal arts at the UW-Waukesha the opportunity to look at what they can do at WCTC and vice versa. You know, as a matter, I've talked to a couple of students. My son graduated last year and is now a freshman in college. And a couple of his friends are going, going to UW-Waukesha so they can stay home and work, mm -hmm. save up their money. And it is more cost effective to stay there but they're going to be going to Platteville for engineering. When I talked to one of them and asked him if he knew about the mechanical engineering programs at WCTC that are fully transferable to UWM, to MSOE, and to Marquette, he didn't even realize that option was there. You know, so here's a situation where you can get a two-year degree and then transfer at your leisure, hopefully get a job, and then go back to finish up your four-year. Those are the ways that I talk about accessibility, giving people more opportunity, more options. But there are some programs already in place, as you were just talking yeah. about, some transferability now. What do we need to do to expand that? I think what we need to do is get more uniform in, in what we're looking at for, and the big word is articulation, the transfer of credits. Uh, most of the time those programs are set up between the dean of the student or the president of the technical college, and as I say, they're almost on a, a handshake basis. There isn't anything set in place across the whole programs that allow for that articulation to occur. And so that's one of the things that we would look at. Mm -hmm. um, the flexibility option is, is for business. <coughs> and, and how can we get more education capability for individuals who are already working right now? You know, and that's one of the things that we're seeing a lot of. Industry has changed. You know, as, as we've been growing up, and I've been in the Wisconsin area, there were a lot of times back in the 60s, 70s, and even the 80s that the 30-year career was the way to go. Right. You would start at one spot and move on your way out. Sure. Coming into the 90s and the 2000s, it's more like a five-year block. You start at one position, go about five to six years, um, possibly get more education, or you get more experience, and you move up to the next level. And I think that's going to become more of the norm. So looking at how we can be more flexible with our education so individuals can get 
short-term cert certification or stackable certification that they can work around their work, their full-time job or their part-time job mm -hmm. to give them the education they need to move up to the next rung. So you work five years at a place, then you go to WCTC or UW mm -hmm. <coughs> for some retraining or some re-education. Or continuing education or I advanced education mm -hmm. and, and work your way through. So if you think uh, coming out, again, back in the 70s, 80s, a high school diploma gave you a good career in manufacturing. And we're seeing the rebirth of kind of manufacturing in Wisconsin. You need that next step. You need, maybe not need an associate's degree, but you need certification, you need specializing with the CNC machines and everything that are coming out. So th from the high school degree, getting levels of certification gets you to the next rung, and then mm -hmm. getting your associate's degree gets you to the next rung, and then your bachelor's degree gets you to the next rung. You know, and I think that's how we're gonna see the, the progression that's gonna go through. It, what's the reaction been like in, at the schools, for one thing? So far, I've seen positive reaction from everyone. Okay. Um, they, they like the opportunity for dialogue. You know, we're gonna have our first listening session tomorrow night uh, from 68 at WCTC, and then the second one is gonna follow up on Monday the 6th mm -hmm. um, at UW Waukesha, Waukesha from noon first to two. First one is Tuesday the 31st. Right. right. And those opportunities, <coughs> I think hopefully we're gonna see a lot of diversity come out. People have questions, they've got concerns, they wanna know, what are we going to do? You know, is this a dramatic change, like a merger of the two schools, mm -hmm. or is it just more like we said before, a collaboration of the two, making things easier for the students to work through? And the last part of it is the accountability. Are we using the taxpayers' money most efficiently with the two campuses and with the two programs going? Is, uh, <clears throat> why hasn't this done, been talked about before or done before? I think there's been a lot of, and I'll put it, turf warfare, um, okay. when, when, you, when, you, when you look at it, you, you've got the Wisconsin <coughs> Technical Colleges, 16 colleges throughout right. the state. They have areas that they supply for the technical college system. Then we've got 13 two-year colleges that are out there. They're part of the whole UW system. There has always been, I think, a misnomer that either you go to a four-year college mm -hmm. or your other option is to come back to the two-year college. And I think what we're starting to see right now is more people are realizing the technical college gives them the skill sets that they can use right away to get a good paying job. And then they can work their way towards the four year degree. Uh, I think that's part of what's happening. I think education in itself is changing. And it's changing dramatically. I was just reading uh, an article um, in Education Week today was talking about colleagues who are using virtual instructors across countries so one instructor yeah. is working through different countries yeah. to teach their programs. And I think you're gonna see more collaboration as technology gets better and more effective. That we're gonna come out of the typical brick and mortar classroom and we're gonna open up for the options that kids have to be able to tap into all the different technology that we have. Are you being too timid? I mean, one of the criticisms I've heard is that <coughs> this, if, if you wanna do this, fine, but then do it on a whole system-wide basis, merge the two systems, the two two-year school systems, and um, do the whole thing at one time rather than piecemeal. Right. Um, I guess I started, I'm gonna, I started here, and for the main reason, they're both in my district, in the mm -hmm. new district that I'm going to be in. I'm also a graduate of both, or I went to school at UW Waukesha and graduated from WCTC. So I've known both systems. Sure. I think to say that I want to go out and dramatically change the whole system, I want to find out first what do we need to look at, and that's what these listening sessions are for. It's easy for a legislator to sit down and say, I think this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. But as I say, I'm not a professor at a college and I'm not a technical instructor. Um, I've never been in the classroom to teach at those. I've done other things in teaching, but, but not at that level. Okay. And so I'd rather have their input <coughs> and find out the input of the community before we come out and say, no, we know what is right. I think the people that know what's right is the people of Wisconsin, and we should get their input. Okay. What are the, um, do things have to change legislatively? Is there something the legislature would have to do to remove some, any barriers from the two schools working closer together? 
Yeah, I think there would be. Um, again, as, as, as we look at the two-year colleges and the two-year system, uh, or excuse me, two-year system and the technical colleges, there are statutory requirements for the two in what they can and cannot do. And as, as I've talked to people in the past, that's where the legislature comes in. We should be removing any barriers um, to the efficiency of education, being able to have them work more, more effectively. I shouldn't have to dictate what we should do. I should just be able to move what, remove what we have in place so that it can be more efficient. Are you going to craft something after these listening sessions? Or I would believe think? so. Okay. I think after the listening sessions, we'll sit down. Hopefully, if we get some really good input, we'll have a follow-up session to see what other ideas might be out there. Okay. Uh, but I think we're, we're going to craft some good legislation from those. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Again, this was uh, State Representative Paul Farrow call, talking about his and Dan Vrakas' proposal to have uh, UWW and WCTC work a little closer together. Thanks. I appreciate the time. Thank you.